Well, I lost the crack shack. Let's get into it. My balls have really caught in the fly of misfortune now, but I ask not for sympathy. I know many of you have been waiting to finally see me fall. All I can say is, hope it's worth it. My douchebag producer took everything and ran off. Well, almost everything. <coughs> Yes, you've just heard from our new co-host that's currently too busy licking its own asshole to come back to the microphone right now. You're listening to Too Late with Mike, more or less. Tonight's episode is sponsored by me. Buy me a meal at Artery Duke, please. I don't even need the toy. All right, I'm not really great with all this audio stuff, but let's see if we can take some calls. Line four, you're on the air. Line is fine, but liquor is quicker. <laughs> oh, I'm right there with you, my dude. Hey, do you have any more funny puns for us tonight? Might make me feel better. Oh, you want more? Motherfucker, I just spent six whole hours trying to think that one up. Man, fuck you. Well, let this be a lesson to anyone listening out there about blowing your load. See, you never want to blow your load all at once. No, sir. You gotta train yourself to only release the load in gentle little spurts over time. That way, there's load left over for the rest of us. You know why this goddamn country's going to hell in a hand grenade, Mike? No, but I'm sure you'll tell us all about it. Yeah, fuck it, A. It's because all these goddamn young people and their goddamn pacemakers these days. I am appalled. Back in my day, we had the grace to go out with some damn dignity. Not selfishly clinging on to life like some kind of... Life junkie. First these young people get addicted to the drugs, and now they're addicted to the life. Oh god, when will it ever end? You're right. I propose we kill everyone as soon as possible. Including you. Next caller. Hi, this is Clam Clueless calling. I found this here number written on a bathroom stall, telling me to call it if I wanted a good time. How do I get the good time? Uh, the good time comes the moment you hang up the phone. Oh. You're on the radio, jackass. Oh, well, I just love public radio. It's like my second favorite thing in the world right next to public restrooms. Oh, but let's not forget about public libraries. They're definitely in my top three for sure. Hello? Are you still there? Holy shit, I really wish I could afford to be high right now. Oh man, it's just great. <sighs> oh god, what have I become? I'm so desperate I just snorted an entire anthill. Life's meant to be so much better than this. Look, I know I've done bad things, but that doesn't mean I should have to face the consequences for them. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? I had no choice but to destroy myself. Well, it sounds like it's all your fault. Thanks for your valuable input, friend. How's your night going? Not good, man. I got an STD that's really kicking my ass. What kind of STD? The one that makes your dick explode? <laughs> I wish. It's worse than that, man. Pregnancy. Oh, fuck, I feel that. Yeah, I just can't stand kids, man. They're like tiny little Democrats always looking for a handout. What, do I look like I'm made of money? Well, I'm unemployed and damn proud of it. Never had a job and never will. Ah, I better let you go, man. It's not like she's going to push herself down the stairs. You know, that caller has a really good point. No, I'm, I'm serious. Things could always be worse. By worse, I mean I could be having another kid. Ugh. Thankfully, the great state of California found me too incompetent to procreate, and a doctor drilled this tiny little hole in the side of my dick. You know, Mike, you may think you're real clever, what with your little snide comments and condescending attitude, but it is only because you are the smartest person in the room. That is why you only ever surround yourself with the low-hanging fruit. If you ever got out into the real world, it'd tear you apart, baby. Oh, spare me. You're just some twat on the telephone. What could you possibly know about the real world? Well, I just recently had to kill the only thing I ever loved. <laughs> what? You think human suffering is funny? I mean, yeah, a little bit. Okay, fine. Then I think your plight is humorous. Ha! Huh? How do you like it now when I laugh at your human suffering? Please, I barely qualify as human. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. Ah, but I'm still standing, baby. Hey, maybe I could use this newfound calamity of mine to finally get my life back on track after all these years and fix all my past mistakes. 
Just kidding, I hope you all fucking die in a sack. And a giant bear eats the sack, shits it out, and all the little woodland critters come out to shit all over that shit. And then lightning strikes it, and then the earth opens up and swallows it, and it descends into the fiery pits of hell. And then Satan loads it into a cannon to shoot at God for the lulls. And God says, well you have to take it. And Satan says, nuh uh. And then there's a whole custody battle fought over the pile of shit. And then God God ends up being stuck with it, but then the angels offer to take it off God's hands if he legalizes hot lesbian intercourse in heaven. Then he agrees. Then the angels hurl it back at Earth because they know very little about proper waste disposal. And it destroys the entire Earth, and everyone dies. <sighs> Fuck you, I'm out. A. S. S. Uh, do you really need the rest? Asshole Radio.